Lockheed Martin's Ring Wing Airliner, or Closed Wing Concept Airplane. A closed wing, or more accurately, a ring wing around the plane. A wing that effectively has two main planes, which merge at their ends, so that there are no conventional wing tips. Closed wing designs include the annular wing, the joined wing, the box wing, and spheroid tip devices. In the following, we will discuss nine facts about Ring Wing Airliner that you haven't found on other channels. 1. Lockheed Ring Wing Concept This is a real aircraft designed by Lockheed. The aircraft you see right here is different in one very big way. The wing are round or more specifically, the wing form a circle all the way around the fuselage. The closed wing aims to reduce the wasteful effects associated with wingtip vortices, which occur at the tips of conventional wings. Although the closed wing has no unique claim on such benefits, many closed wing designs do offer structural advantages over a conventional cantilever monoplane. 2. Characteristics Wingtip vortices form a major component of wake turbulence and are associated with induced drag, which is a significant contributor to total drag in most regimes. A closed wing avoids the need for wingtips and thus might be expected to reduce wingtip drag effects. In addition to potential structural advantages over open cantilevered wings, closed wing surfaces have some unique aerodynamic properties. For a lifting system constrained to fit within a rectangular box of fixed horizontal spanwise and vertical dimensions as viewed in the free stream flow direction, the configuration that provides the absolute minimum induced drag for a given total vertical lift is a closed system, eat a rectangular box wing with lifting surfaces fully occupying all four boundaries of the allowed rectangular area. 3. Configurations Various types of closed wing have been described. A. Box wing B. Rhomboidal wing C. Flat annular wing D. Concentric wing and fuselage 4. History Pioneer Years An early example of the closed wing was on the Blériot II aircraft, built in 1906 by Louis Blériot and Gabriel Voisin. The lifting surfaces comprised two annular wings mounted in tandem. The later Blériot IV replaced the forward annular wing with a biplane and added a canard fourplane to make it a three-surface aircraft. It was able to leave the ground in small hops before being damaged beyond repair. 5. History World War II In 1944, the German designer Ernst Heinkel began working on an annular wing VTOLAN multirole single-seater called the Lurchy, but the project was soon abandoned. 6. History Postwar During the 1950s, the French company Safran Aircraft Engines, previously Snecma or Snecma Motors, developed the Coleopter, a single-person VTOL annular wing aircraft. The aircraft proved dangerously unstable despite the development and testing of several prototypes, and the design was abandoned. 7. Lockheed Martin Environmentally Responsible Aviation Project During 2011, the Environmentally Responsible Aviation Project at NASA's Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate invited study proposals towards meeting NASA's goal of reducing future aircraft fuel consumption by 50% compared to 1998. Lockheed Martin proposed a box-wing design along with other advanced technologies. 8. Cranel Box-Wing In 1924, the German aerodynamicist Ludwig Prandtl suggested that a box wing, under certain conditions, might provide the minimum induced drag for a given lift and wingspan. In his design, two offset horizontal wings have vertical wings connecting their tips and shaped to provide a linear distribution of side forces. The configuration is said to offer improved efficiency for a range of aircraft. 9. Sea Wing the C-wing is a theoretical configuration in which much of the upper center section of a box wing is removed, creating a wing that folds up and over at the tips 
but does not rejoin in the center. A C-wing can achieve very nearly the same induced drag performance as a corresponding box wing, as shown by the calculations illustrated below. Each of the first three rows in the illustration shows a different C-wing configuration as it is taken through a sequence of theoretical induced drag calculations in which the wingtips are brought closer together, culminating in the limiting case on the right, where the gap has been taken to zero and the configuration has become a closed box wing. All content on the Angie Norman channel is provided for educational purposes. Thumbnails and titles are for illustration only. Thus today's information, I hope it is useful and becomes knowledge for all of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you again.